all right well, welcome again all right let's take a look at this question decompose into partial fraction 6x minus 9 all over x squared minus 1 all right please pay attention to this it's very simple let's take it step by step how to decompose into partial fraction okay so now in decomposing into partial fraction we have some guidelines about five of them okay so we are going to apply we are going to apply those guidelines here so the first one says we must check and make sure that the rational polynomial is proper what do we mean the degree of this of the denominator must be higher than that of the numerator so the rational must be balanced or it must be proper so now looking at the question we have now we can see that the degree of the numerator is one and the degree of the denominator is two so this guideline number one is or the condition number one is satisfied now let's go to the second guideline second guideline says look at your denominator or the denominator you have check if you can factorize it okay if you can factorize it check it if you can factorize it do so now merely looking at this denominator here we have x squared minus one and if you look at it very well you will see that you can factorize this it is simply difference of two squared difference of two squared and how do we go about this is the same as saying x minus one in bracket and x plus one in bracket please i want you to before you continue watching pick these two brackets x minus one multiply by x plus one i want you to open the bracket and simplify it let's see if you are going to get the same x squared minus one okay so we see that the first guideline or condition is satisfied and then the second one says if you can factorize it okay here we factorize and now in this situation here we are having 6x minus 9 all over x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 so how do we do it we are going to assign uh, a constant a b c as the case may be to each of these factors assign letter a b c to each of these factors and this abc the constant or these letters is the value that we are looking at or we want to obtain now let's see how we can do it okay now let's go from here we have 6x minus 9 all over x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 right good and then we say is equal to a we assign it to one factor which we say a all over x minus one then plus b all over the second factor so here we have a all over x minus one plus b all over x plus one right yes all right what is the next thing we are going to do we are going to multiply through by x minus one multiply by x plus one so we are going to multiply everything by this x minus 1 and then x plus 1 so that we have a single line or a linear expression. We don't want to have fraction or rational again so that it will be linear. Our expression will be in one line. Okay. Now let's go. When we do so, we are going to have 6x minus 9 all over x minus 1 in bracket x plus 1 in bracket multiply by the denominator which is x minus 1 x plus 1 equal to a all over x minus 1 multiply by x minus 1 x plus 1 right plus b all over x plus 1 multiply by x minus 1 
x plus 1, right? So now look at this. In this left-hand side, you see that this x minus 1 and x plus 1 we cancel, right? Good. We are going to have 6x minus 9 remaining in the left-hand side, right? Good. Now let's go to the other side. We have a all over x minus 1 times x minus 1 in bracket x plus 1. So here x minus 1, we cancel x minus 1. So we are going to have a multiplied by x plus 1 remaining. And then in the side of b, x plus 1, we cancel x plus 1. We are going to have b open bracket x minus 1 remaining, right? Yes, please pay attention to this expression we have here. We have 6x minus 9 is equal to a open bracket x plus 1 plus b x minus 1. So the next step is to set each of the factors to 0. Set each of the factors to 0. Now let's, let's set the first one to 0, which is x minus 1 equal to 0. So when you set it equal to 0, we are going to see that x is equal to 1. So in this expression we have above, anywhere we see x, we are going to write 1. We are going to substitute for 1, right? So here we are going to have 6 open bracket 1 minus 9 is equal to a open bracket 1 plus 1. Then plus b open bracket 1 minus 1, right? So when you say 6 times 1, it's going to give you 6. Then we have minus 9 equal to, here we have a open bracket 1 plus 1. When you say 1 plus 1, it's going to give you 2. Then 2 multiplied by a is going to give you 2a. Plus, in this side we have b, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, right? Yes, so 0 multiplied by b is 0. So here we have 6 minus 9 is equal to minus 3 equal to 2a. We are looking for a. So we divide both sides by 2. So dividing both sides by 2 we have that a is equal to minus 3 all over 2. a is equal to minus 3 all over 2. So we have obtained a. Now we go further to obtain b or we set one of those factors again to 0. Thereby, we are going to obtain the value for b. Now let's go. We set x plus 1 to 0 that means we have x is equal to minus 1 so in our expression we are going to substitute for x and we will see x we are going to write minus 1 and then you know the expression we have is 6x minus 9 is equal to a open bracket x plus 1 in bracket plus b x minus 1 Okay, so in this place, let's substitute. We are going to have 6, open bracket, minus 1, close bracket, minus 9 is equal to A, minus 1, plus 1, close bracket, plus B, open bracket, minus 1, minus 1. So here we have minus 1 times 6 is going to give you minus 6. Then we have minus 9 equal to, in the side of A, we have minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So we have a open bracket multiplied by 0 plus in the side of b we have minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2. So in this case we have a multiplied by 0 is 0. Then when we say minus 6 minus 9 is going to give us minus 15. So here we have minus 15 is equal to minus 2b. You remember we are looking for b. So we divide both sides by minus 2. So when you divide both sides by minus 2, we are going to have that b is equal to 15 all over 2. b is equal to 15 all over 2. All right? Yes. Now look at it. You know, we have 6x minus 9 all over x minus 1 in bracket x plus 1 in bracket is equal to a all over x minus 1 plus b all over x plus 1. And now we have solved and we have obtained the value for a and b. We can now substitute. So when we substitute, we are going to have minus 3 all over 2. That is for a. 
all over x minus 1. Then plus, we have for b, we have 15 all over 2, all over x plus 1, right? Yes, let's simplify this further. So when you simplify it further, we are going to have that 6x minus 9 all over x squared minus 1 is minus 3 all over 2 over bracket x minus 1 plus 15 all over 2 over bracket x plus 1 so when they say decompose into partial fraction 6x minus 9 all over x squared minus 1 so the result is minus 3 all over 2 over bracket x minus 1 plus 15 all over 2 over bracket x plus 1 all right yes i want you to check if what we did is correct of which i know is correct okay you can actually check now we are saying that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side i want you to combine the right hand side add up the right hand side and see if you are going to get what you have in your left hand side yes i'm very sure if you do it properly you are going to obtain it so therefore this is how to decompose into partial fraction okay yeah we have several other videos and lessons on this topic i want you to watch this over and over again and if you are new to our youtube channel please do well to subscribe if you have not like our videos and share it also stay blessed thank you